I'm Althea Castro de la Mata in Walk Fort, where residents tell me they're concerned over coyote attacks in their neighborhoods. And I found four of my uh, peahens dead in their coop. Misty Young says last week a pack of coyotes killed four of her peacocks in her backyard. At first, she thought it was dogs that attacked her birds. She filed a report with Aransas County Animal Services to press charges on the owners of the dogs, but she soon found out she was wrong. So we put up a bunch of cameras and happened to find coyotes. First night, um, a little juvenile came through to dig up the carcasses where we had buried them. Wendy Lawback, chair for the Aransas County Animal Welfare, says it's common to see coyotes in the area. They're definitely around. You don't see them, they don't so much frequently come into yards the way you would see, for instance, raccoons or possums or armadillos. She says because they're native to the area, there's not much that can be done. It's frustrating. I mean, it's wildlife. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. Um, like I said, the more that the more land we clear, the more pressure it puts on the animals. They have to have somewhere to go. Texas Parks and Wildlife officials say these animals typically only come out at night to hunt for food. They say it's important to keep an eye out on your pets and try to avoid having them roam freely. Um, coyotes tend to stay further out, but that's not to say they don't ever come in because they will. If, if you leave chickens out or peacocks, I mean, they'll go after them. Neighbors like Misty tell me they will continue to stay wary. They're doing what animals do. However, they're being a nuisance. <laughs> I wish they do it out in the woods and not in my backyard. Texas Parks and Wildlife officials say coyote attacks are extremely rare. And if you happen to see one, make sure to keep your distance. Reporting in Rockport, Amaltea Castro de la Mata, Chris 6 News.